Hello, my name is Andrew Joner. I'm a cultural journalist who has been studying electronic music culture for the past four years. Um, as some of you may know, I am uh, right now completing a uh, documentary on uh, the spirituality and mysticism of electronic music culture um, and the, the conscious evolution of our, of our global dance tribe. Uh, for the conference today, I have put together a little speech that I would like to present to you guys right now, just kind of about the connection, uh, the connection between our culture and Earth dance and the kind of the potential of our global rituals that we're celebrating today. Uh, Confucius says that the tribe that dances in the morning shall never be conquered. Today, as we join together for Earth dance, a new cultural holiday, enriched with dance celebration and, above all, a unified prayer for peace. Once a year, thousands of people gather on hundreds of sites all over the world to synchronize a kinetic engagement with sound, celebration, and our collective global body in a dance for peace. Right now in dance floors all over the world, we are being united upon a single stage, a singular moment in which our intention, purpose, and prayer is directed all at once. This gesture of rejuvenation and celebration is one of the most pan-human rituals to be practiced in our history. Although many date center rituals are practiced across the cultural blanket of our ethnosphere, few practice the synchronized prayer that Earth Dance achieves through our global community. Since the beginning of our history, long before we began producing artifacts of culture, our species danced. In our early history, tribes over the world existed in total isolation from one another, without any connection or knowledge of the existence of communities of cultures outside of their own. When studying the tra trajectory of evolution within these isolated tribes, we see the emergence of art, ritual, and mythology, and right around the same time. When and how did dance make its initial emergence onto the stage of cultural evolution? How did this discovery change the individuals who experienced ecstasy for the first time? How did the rest of their community first react to the practice of dance, and over time, how did it begin to transform the community? The sociologist Durkheim talks about collective effervescence. Collective effervescence is a perceived energy formed by a gathering of people. This collective energy can alter perception and cause people to act differently than in their everyday life. For Durkheim, this collective effervescence was the fundamental component of social organization through experiencing the sacred. This liminal and chaotic point, this rupture in the time and space of our experience of reality, frees one from our values, our identity, and our belief structure. While stripped of one's cultural ethnosuits which provide us self-identification, one finds the freedom to reconstruct all the parts of the meta-machine and to cut and paste a completely new identity. Religions are meant to subjectify us within our own identity. With the awareness of this transformative power, we collectively reconstruct the identity of the culture as a whole. And within tribes bonded by this communal dancing, the trajectory of their cultural evolution had a biomythical bond to the rhythm of the Earth, Moon, and stars. We see throughout history this core experience of communal ecstasy through dance and movement as a driving force behind periods of revolution. The ghost dance was a movement that saw this practice as a source of both change and salvation, not only for the reality of the tribe, but for the whole ecosphere of planet Earth. Like the ghost dance, many cultures whose infrastructure saw threat viewed dance as the divine doorway into alternative dimensions of sanctuary and deliverance. They saw it as a tool for the quick and thorough reconstruction of society. There exists a continuity in the belief in the magical mechanisms of dance. This continuity exhibits the connection between the mechanics of human culture and higher forms of reality. The whole realm of our consciousness which is connected to the sacred. Within our global dance tribe, we are seeing the symbiosis of prophecy, belief, and change manifest itself within our tribal dance community. However, this time it is set upon the stage of an industrial state society in the early stages of globalization, and in the final melding of our planet's atmosphere into one integral body. This tribal dance movement is happening against the backdrop of the dominant world culture, disconnected from the sacred. This umbilical cord between culture and the sacred has been disconnected long before the rise of our industrial society. For whatever reason, we should now only see it as practical and systemic. Our global dancing tribe is playing a huge role in rejuvenating this connection, trailing a cultural revolution in its wake. Now as we stand together as a massive global community, no longer as isolated tribes of the archaic past, we have the ability to dance together as one, in synchronic unification with each other in the entire cosmos. The power of our collective effervescence is now on a global scale. We are united together as one tribe, one unified nation of dancers and dreamers. So when we sing together in this one moment in time for Earth Dance 2010, we not only pray for peace, we also celebrate the peace and unity which is already manifest right here, right now within our community. 
This is the powerful role that we have collectively been called to play in the ever unfolding story of the true potential of our imagination. For four years, I have lived and studied among this community as a cultural journal. As I have deeply studied the past and present of our tribal dance community, I can now only see the endless potential of our future. What change we have been able to manifest in our community, I know that we can manifest in the world around us. And Earth Dance and the synchronized dance ceremony that we're about to take part of is, is part of that, and is part of what, what we're all creating together. So happy Earth Dance, everyone.